Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of Falcon Paladin Plays with his fans in a free-for-all. This was from a Falcon Plays event from about two weeks ago. Let's see. Uh, maybe just a week ago now, I feel like. And this, yes, it is a free-for-all on a surrender-enabled map. Which means if you feel like you're dead, you can type in surrender, all your buildings explode, all your units die, and you can watch as an observer. I feel like that's 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 the way to do free-for-alls. Alright, so let's in introduce these players here on Toxic Slums. Without further ado, on the right side of the map, we have the yellow Zerg player. It is Falcon Valley. Just south of him is the red Zerg player, Stalin X, from Sir. Further south is the pink Zerg player, not E.G. Idra, from Pig 2. I think this is probably Pig's Clan. To the left of him, finally a Protoss player, Somicron. I think it's the Innovation Spinning logo. It's his dude. That is his dude. Up along the left side here, another Protoss player, Mini Titan from Jamit. Up top, a Terran player, Cat. And then another Terran player, finally. It's going to be the Orange player, Firebird. Oh boy, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be nuts. I played in this game, as you can see, so I have a general idea of what went on, which makes it a little bit easier to cast. But yeah, if you'd like to play with Falcon next time, we have one of these events. We're going to have one here in January. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter at slash Falcon Paladin. I'll put announcements up three to four days, sometimes as much as a week in advance. So you can put it on your calendar and remember and show up and play free-for-alls and play custom games and play mono battles. And it's great. It's a really, really fun time. It's great times are had by all. Free-for-alls are just exciting, though. Free-for-alls are all about treachery and people attempting to make alliances which then fall apart and it's great so we'll try to pay attention to what's going on here also keep the big picture in mind as well Somicron is chucking up a pile on way up north is he cannon rushing are you cannon rushing cat no cat see cat brought a marine out no he says you're not allowed not allowed to cannon rush at all yeah that gateway is late that was definitely a forge first why did you do that to him and then firebird talks to John just tossing down a command center in Nowheresville? I don't know. Reaper shows up from Firebird, and Falcon is not ready for it, embarrassingly enough. He's got some lings on the way, but he just chased the Reaper away with his drones, which don't do that. But uh, I'll just have lings out. Your timings were messed up in this game. It's a five-minute no rush. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot to mention. This is a five-minute no rush. So the first five minutes, he can't kill... Is he actually... Not honoring the engagement? I don't think he's honoring the terms of the engagement here. Not E.G. Idra. What? Oh, no. All right. That's unfortunate. So, unfortunately, these probes have to defend themselves because... Oh, he's trying to do the probe stacking thing. Is it working? It's kind of working, but it's destroying him economically. He's got some lings here. More lings here as well, I should have said. Oh, no. This is the, one of the betrayals that I was talking about. I didn't even know. High sec auto-tracking on the way from Cat. It's a pretty early high sec auto tracking, and this command center is insanity. All right, links from Stalin coming on over this way. There are some defensive links here, too. Actually, I lied. Did we talk about a five minute no rush and there? Just kidding. There actually was rushing allowed because everybody's doing it, it seems like. Yeah, I might be getting that game confused. I apologize for impugning your honor, Mr. Not EG Idra, but it looks, oh, it looks like Somicron might just be dead. Looks like he might just be dead here. Pink does not like purple. In this scenario, not even a teeny tiny bet. Bailing Nest coming up for the Falcon Paladin right now. Marauder production has begun from Firebird. Oh, he's lifting up a base to this top left hand island. Is it an island? It is definitely an island. It's definitely hard to get to. So he takes it. Firebird makes it happen. Slowlings, just kidding, they're speedlings now. Here at Somicron's base, and he's absolutely dope. Got some uh, probes here trying to work in an expansion, but there's only three of them. And the Zerglings should make quick work of it as soon as they're done with everything else up here uh, at the main base. So, fare thee well. Fare thee well, Somicron. It is a difficult, difficult thing for thee to handle. So, I've got Banelings, which should help immensely against my Zerg opponent. My Zergy Zergy opponent just next door here. That's the thing with free-for-alls. People are very close. Very close. Yep, Zerglings coming around this outside here. Going to finish off Somicron. Down to one final probe. And now he's down to exactly zero. What? He's got one. Just kidding. Zero. Zero probes. There's the surrender and he's out. So now he's spectating. Aw, I was sad that Somicron died so early. Guess who's moving out with Colossus and War Prisms? Um, the answer is Mini Titan. The answer is the Mini Titan. Also, Firebird heading a drop up somewhere. 
Where are you going this? Oh, he went random. That's what it was. Summicron mains Terran, but he got guilted and shamed into going random and got Protoss. <laughs> and it did not go well for him at all. All right, so Firebird has a small drop. He might be able to do some work here against Cat. Cat, who is one base in it with several barracks, specifically five. Uh, nope, four barracks and an engineering bay. Here's what it is, but here's the drop. Missile turret might get rid of this. Medivac, the Medivac does end up dead. And the Planetary Fortress here for Cat. Enough to get rid of all of those Marines, too. So good turtling by Cat. Kind of like it. Finally expanding to the right, but it's just off this cliff from where Firebird is. Here comes a Colossus Adept Stalker attack into Not EG Idra. A bunch of Zerglings say, we can handle this. Can we get a surround here? Trying. The Colossus does get picked up, leaving everybody else on the ground to die. No, just kidding. Goes to the high ground. Makes stuff happen. Banelings rolling into the natural base of Stall. And this is Falcon Paladin Banelings. Wings just getting absolutely murdered here. Trying to possibly get into the main to get some more damage done. There's a wall. Or is there? No, there's not. The Banelings get on in. They're trying to get target fired down. And no, they don't get target fired down. Big time hits. Big time hits there. Meanwhile, Colossus is still alive. Don't mind me. Six kills for him. Ten kills for him. The micro on display from Mini Titan is actually pretty darn impressive here. 288. 288. Somicron appreciates what the Banelings did. I'm still making a whole ton of Banelings here. Oh, Firebird has a big marine tank army. Yeah. Don't want to engage that with just Banelings. Absolutely. Maybe I do. Do I want to? No, I don't. Just kidding. I really don't want to here. Can I get up here and do the same thing again? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Again, the gap is still present. Banelings cruising on in. And whoops, all, all the drones. All the drones are in trouble right now. Uh, Queen absorbs a good sh Oh, good amount of shots. Those drones are alive. But guess who's here? Terran player Firebird. Going to hit you while you're down, Stalin. That is the thing with FFAs. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. You're going to fend off an attack from one player, then another player shows up, decides to make mince meat of you. Double racked, says Stalin. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong about that. Not EG Idra does stabilize, though. The Pink Sword player is still alive after that Protoss attack. Where did you go, Protoss units? Did you all die? Or are you back home? It looks like some of you are back home. Anyway, oh, who's rolling in to Firebird's face with more Veinlings? It's me! Oh, goodbye, all the SCDs in this entire base. Uh, maybe we get the ones building supply depots too? Sure, why not? We can pick those dudes off. Trying to mess with, mess with the economy here. Mercy, I give you cookie, says Stalin. Yeah, Firebird's here with a nice little marine marauder group. With medevac support and some tanks behind it here. Good positioning on those tanks. Does he give mercy? Stalin, is he going to live by bribing with a cookie? It looks like he may. Mini Titan taking a base in the middle section of the map here. Just kind of hoping nobody really notices because it's in the middle and very easy to attack from many different locations. Actually, do you have to kill rocks to get there? I don't know. I never actually, yeah, it looks like you have knocked down some rocks unless you fly in, which is entirely possible. Firebird says the Falcon Paladin has been alive for far too long. Far too long. It's time to make... A mess out of him. I've got lings. I've got banelings, but I don't have enough. I've been spending them on destroying SCDs instead of protecting. Here come the drones. Here come the banelings. It's a desperation maneuver from the Falcon Paladin. The target firing is good. Oh, it's real good. And there's no creep either. These queens trying to get involved. But man, that was incredibly well held from Firebird. Just not even phased by that. And that's the surrender. I'm out. I got nothing left after that one. Taps out to observe. All the more better to see what's going on in this game. Not EG Idri expands to where Somicron used to be. So guess who's here? Double Colossus. Double Colossus are here. Zergling's trying to deal with this, but it's just... Oh, they really want to kill this hatchery, but I don't think they're going to. Nope, roaches are a problem. Roaches are a problem. Double Warp Prism. Curse who figured out the target fire Banelings thing. It's true. It's true. The Banelings used to be a lot better before players figured out they could use their APM to just get rid of them. Drop here from Cat gets rid of Firebird's main base, but the response from Firebird is pretty good. Got some tanks, and actually, no, it's not working out for him at all. These Marines have medevac support. They don't care about your tanks, especially if they're not in siege mode. These Colossus are still hilarious out of Mini Titan. He's one base in it except for this one. Curse whoever made mass Marines and Marine tank. <laughs> yeah, TVT. Terran fans don't, Terran people don't usually, don't usually enjoy it all that much. I mean, it's hard to see you, cat. You are so dark on this gray background up here. I realize that you're here. I just forget that you exist. 
That's, a, that's probably what was the intent, right? You do look awesome, though, with your green shields and the logos on there, too. Mmm, that's gorgeous. How do, they, wait, what the, how do they light up? I swear they would light up a little bit earlier there. Huh. I don't know, but Firebird's in trouble. Firebird is in a heck of a lot of trouble here. His main base is getting absolutely destroyed from the top down and the ground up. Which I think is bad. I'm pretty sure that's a horrible, horrible, terrible thing. Mini Titan here in the center section of the map got this gold base rocking. Three Colossus moving out in War Prisons for Mini Titan. He's memeing it. He's memeing it hard. Oh, is he going to finish what's left of Firebird with Colossus? Oh, no. Oh, no, Firebird, please, no. You need, we need Terran representation here. We've got two Protoss, or rather two Zerg, and a Protoss hanging out right now. But, oh, they're not going, are they going further north enough? It looks like they may be going further north enough. Also, keeping the supply depots alive is helping Firebird immensely right now. He does not have to build them. Oh, but the Colossus have found your secret island getaway, which means goodbye all of the things, Firebird with the existential Why? I'll help you. We could be teams. Mini Titan does not show mercy. He absolutely does not show mercy at all. He's Colossus, man. 29 kills on this Colossus. That is a hero Colossus for sure. Yeah, no, there's... Nope, you waste your breath, says Falcon Paladin, and it's true. He does. Oh, Firebird getting hit at his home away from home here, too. At his old base, all the old stuff is getting murdered. Forced to lift off his orbital command. And Cat actually trying to expand here while there are Colossus... Tearing everything apart. Dude, Cat, no. What are you, is Mini Titan going to leave this? He lets this be? No, he decides to murder other stuff instead. I'm going to try to murder your planetary fortress. Nope. Not with missile turret here and not with extended range on that planetary fortress. What an absolutely disgusting setup right now. This is hilarious right now. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. That was rough for the Colossus. Planetary Fortress with range with Missile Turrets. Pretty darn fantastic. Cat picks up, runs. Firebird picks up, runs. Mini Titan Space is in a lot of trouble. There's a bailing drop from not EG Idra that was here. The Adepts show up, but a little bit too late. A little bit too late for that one. And Stalin's still alive, man. Stalin X still doing his thing. He's got a Hydrolisk Den. He obviously has the Lurker Den. He's working on Adaptive Talons, which decreases the Lurker Burrow time from 2 seconds to 0.7 seconds and increases their movement speed by 10%, which is wondrous. I mean, that's definitely an upgrade that I enjoy. Firebird heading down with an orbital command, trying to see what he can see. Stalin double expanding, feeling extremely safe. Nobody's really bothered him since he told Firebird to go away because he'd give him a cookie. That's actually working out extremely well for the Red Zerg player thus far. It's kind of what free for alls come down to sometimes is just a whole bunch of luck. Not to say you're not good. I'm not going to say you're not good at this game, but it is. It's just a whole, whole crap ton of luck. What are we working on up here? Uh, Cat does take the top left island expansion for his own. Finally clears out the remnants of the tenants here. Firebird drops a barracks in Cat's base and starts making marines. Pretty much all he can really do. Meanwhile, Corruptor is going against many Titans. Colossus the Death Ball. There aren't enough stalkers. Not enough stalkers to protect these Colossus at all. These cannons might be useful. Good positioning there to make that happen. Firebird lands in the middle section here. Just neighbors with Mini Titan, which is probably not what he wants. Again, Mini Titan will show him no mercy at all. Where the heck is that? This Marine from Firebird has a kill. Oh, just kidding. He's murdered. In fact, the entire army of cats deal with that, by the way. Effective, but probably overkill. Probably just the overkill. Widow Mines in production here for the Firebird. Working on plus three ground carapace, plus three missile attack, and adrenal glands is Stalin X right now. Again, being left alone as a Zerg player is a wonderful thing, and he's taking full advantage. What am I laughing about? Oh, this. Ha! <laughs> yeah, Firebird tried to Widow Mine rush Mini Titan, sort of, at the 14 minute mark, but got moited instead. And are you cannon rushing? Is these, is these gonna be cannons? Yeah, Firebird's been discovered. Load up, load up the orbital command, and let's get the heck on out of there. Mm, time to run. Run! Running, 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 running. Please don't kill my last remaining building, says Firebird. Away! Away with you! Please don't make it burn down. It's not burning. It's 700 hit points. It should be just fine. So Stalin's sitting on all happy five bases right now, which is just disgusting for him. 91 workers compared to 56, 73, and 24. Mini Titan on 24. 
having a hard time. He's not. He's refusing to take his natural expansions. Refusing. Absolutely not doing that at all. Instead, expanding to this middle gold section, which is kind of insane. Here comes the Colossus Death Ball. He's got plus one, plus one on those stalkers. The Colossus are sharing those upgrades here, too. Hey, that cookie, this Firebird. Can I trade it in? <laughs> and yes, because Stalin gave Firebird a cookie to keep him alive, and now Stalin says, sure, I won't kill your stuff. How's that sound? Sounds pretty great. A lot of Marines. Oh, plus one, plus one Marines from Cat running around. Uh, looking like a pretty good time. Oh, that pro lurker play, though. Ooh, look how fast they are. Wham. I really feel like we should see more of this, honestly. Are you going to scan? Oh, you're going to run into lurkers. you got to scan, dude. Look how fast they can burrow. There's the scan. But I don't know. Do you want to do this? Apparently, he does. He's losing a lot of Marines in the process, though. Oh, that's better spread. That's much better spread. From the Zerg player, here's a big old classic Zerg versus Protoss battle. Going on in front of your eyes. Brewlord's in the sky. Oh, the Colossus are getting murdered by the Corruptors here. There are roaches on the ground. This might be the end of the Protoss death ball for sure. Getting rid of these warp prisms. Everybody on the ground. There is no answer to Broodlords. And that's it. Mini Titan is gone. He surrenders, leaves his buildings in wrecking, smoldering ruins. And not E.G. Idra goes back from whence he came. So we've got two Zergs and a Terran remaining here at the 16-minute mark of this free-for-all. A lot of static defense coming up from Stalin. I don't know how much that will help you right now, but that's just fine. Got some Lurkers, got some Hiders with a really awesome-looking War Chest skin. I like this one. I know it's all spiky, but the color scheme is nice. It is very nice. Uh, the Saga of Firebird continues sneaking down this right side. Stalin can see it, but we'll leave it alone. I'm trying to play, uh, what's the game? Hot versus cold? Hide and seek with hot and cold motions there. I don't know. Anyway, I'm telling him where he can expand, which is this island in the bottom right-hand corner. It's probably the safest place for him. Ling's Zerg versus Zerg action here. Trying to get up and get rid of the stall. And I feel like he could, man. There's really no answer for Broodlords on the ground. There's a lot of hiders, and they are fully upgraded, but... The Broodlords with any level of support, and there are enough roaches here to tank for them while the Rubings raid down destruction. Hmm. Cat, again, really hard to see his stuff. Is this his stuff? Nope, none of that is his stuff. But he's on two bases. He's not third, actually, taking the top left island. Excuse me, island for his own. Is what he has done. Never seen a tumor kill the instant it was laid. Yeah, there's a queen up here. Ah, trying to lay down a tumor like right there, and the lurker just murdered it as it was being ejected from the queen. I mean, it was instantaneous. Instantaneous from the queen death there. Obviously, you've seen creep tumors that are pushing out this way die immediately, but whatever. Here comes our pink Zerg player going for it. And so many Hydras, though. Hydras against this Roach army. Without the Broodling support, the Lurkers coming down along the left side to Burrow. Where are the Broodlords? They're attacking in the main. They need to help with this army. Is what they need to do, because now suddenly the Hydra army is right on these dudes, and there's nothing to buffer. There's nothing to buffer, buffer at all for these Broodlords. And the Broodlords getting target fired down here, dying very quickly. The Hydras, with their plus three attack, not necessarily caring all that much. About the Broodlings, although they should, because they're getting murdered. There's just too many Broodlords. It's a great idea. <laughs> With the Hydras, but it's not enough. The Broodlords are fantastic. Oh, the Marines. Here come the Marines. Plus two, plus two Marines against undefended Broodlords. Ah! Ravens here, too. I don't know what they're doing, but did you just watch all those Broodlords get evaporated? They just got murdered. Just gone. <laughs> oh, they were doing so well until the mass marine showed up from the cat. And now suddenly not EG Eater goes from a place of power and prominence to just getting absolutely massacred right now. Gotta watch out for that tier one unit that is amazing against everything airborne. So Falcon Paladin, it's true. Marines are good against everything in the sky. Every darn thing. And that's going to be it. I mean, I don't, really don't see the pink Zerg player coming back from this. Sure, he has other expansions, but all his tech was in there. He's down to Lings, which Lings running. I mean, he lost his spawning pool, too. Lost his spawning pool, too. But, yeah, against this many Marines, it's a horrible, horrible experience. Hydras are back from Stalin. He's expanding once again. He's got 10,000 minerals in the bank and 55 gas. 55 gas. 
He needs to harvest better. Like these ones, for example. And these ones, for example. And these... Well, he's actually getting these ones. That's great. But he's got a couple of bases he could do a little bit better with. Indeed. Yes, Lings can beat battle cruisers, says Samacron. It's very true. Very good against those those air units. A battle cruiser. Marines pushing on in to the south. And goodbye, hatchery. Goodbye, drones. The larvae do not stand a chance at all. Not easy, easy trying to expand along this left side here, but marine groups continuing accidentally kind of fighting it by rallying to the rest of their army, and now it's completely toast here. B slow Banes from not EG Idra. Slow Banes. Ah. Fungal catches him. Gonna try to chain fungal these guys to death. Might actually make it happen. Oh, would be missed these dudes. Do they have Burrow? They do have Burrow. Burrow. Burrow, not EG Idra. Yeah, these are your final remaining units. I feel like, can I borrow a spawning pool? So not EG Idra, like a cup of milk. Oh, I think the, here's the sad thing for not EG Idra. These Marines are moving away. They were moving away from this base, and then the Infestors fungled a group of the Marines, and they said, oh, there, there might be something up there. And that's the surrender from Naji EG Idra. So we're down to a Zerg versus Terran Terran. Firebird sort of technically counts right now. I, I mean, maybe. Does he? I don't know if he actually does, but, I mean, he's going to make a comeback. He's going to make a comeback is what he's going to do. Cat expanding all down this left side fantastically well, sitting on a maxed-out army of so many Marines. So many Marines. Oh, not EG Idra says, are you allied? What? No, there's definitely a Zerg versus Zerg battle there that you missed. So angry. Marines pushing in on top of Hydralisks. Which, Hydras are better than they used to be in this situation, but not great. Lurkers defending, pulling back the defense of those. And once again, just trying to bait these Marines into Lurkers. This is a cookie partnership. <laughs> says Firebird. They allowed a command center to land. Says Falcon Paladin. Resources lost here. 37,000 for not EG Idra, which is well more than anybody else. Those Broodlords dying were a massive problem. A massive, massive problem. Jeez. So Cat pulling back, consolidating his power just a little bit here. Stalin hanging out with his Hydralisk army. I feel like you gotta go tier 3 on some level, dude. Ultras would be great here. With some infestors to slow these marines down, tear through them like they made of the tissue paper. Looks like trying to expand over here is Firebird at the 22 minute mark. And there it is. He gets the expand. All right, so Firebird on the way up. He's got some marines, he's got some tanks, he's spending his money pretty well. He's a lot more gas than he knows what to do with. I guess making more tanks would probably be. A totally fine thing. So all's quiet on the western front for now. It's a lot of bases. A lot of gray here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bases for cat. Ah, ah, ah. I gotta go, says Mini Titan, but he'll be he'll be here next time. Yes, Mini Titan, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. It was nice, nice to hang out with you for sure. Look at all the love. Look at all the love we have for each other when we play. Sure we get frustrated sometimes. Sure we say some stuff that we might regret. That's what we say. All right, so Marines pushing through. Trying to take out a queen that is spreading creep, which is totally just fine. I don't know if this mass Hydra army is what you want to be doing here, Stalin. This is crazy. This is crazy. Summicron get Smitty Titan's resources? That's weird. Not that he can use them because he's dead. Definitely cannot use them because he is dead. All right, Cat with the pickup. He's going to... It's time for action. It is time for action. It's not time to hang out. Let's maybe get rid of this base. For Stalin, huh? How's that sound? Boosting in. Trying to avoid flying over creep. Oh, so many spores, though. I don't, do you want to land on the high ground, maybe? And murder the spores from up there? I don't know, but the Hydra counterattack looking pretty good. Goodbye, Ravens. Oh, the Ravens. They are not fleeing fast enough. Drop continuing for Cat. He's got a Hydralisk army at his front door. The stutter step action from Stalin looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, if you darn near wanted to ask me. Marines here against the Stalin. That's just too many. Static defense, not enough, but he does manage. Oh, does manage to pull the Hydralisks back there. Does manage to make it happen. Did he just kill? He just killed an engineering bay that was working on plus three weapons. 
Herbert says my music is coming with uh, piano. Hydralisk versus Marine. The battle you don't often see, but hey, that's a free for all their fours. Weird stuff. Who's going to win this thing? The Marines do have that plus three armor, but not the plus three attack, which they would be loving right now. It's a nice concave from the Hydras. Oh, the Medivac stopped healing. Why did you leave these guys alone? Oh, left them to their own devices to hide from the Hydralisks and sentenced the Marines to death. Ow, that really hurt. That was that was a horrible experience. 31 Hydralisks in production for Stalin X. That is odd that you have the nice music, Firebird. Firebird says it's nice, though, and very appropriate. All right, Firebird says it's time to go. I have an army again. I have 77 supply of army. Been left alone long enough trying to defend this expansion. Got sick of this one. I ran out of minerals there. We're going to pop over here to what I think is uh, one of not E.G. Idra's bases, actually. Orin spared me when I was almost dead, so I kill him last. I mean, that seems very, uh, very confident of you, Firebird. I believe that's what I will say here. Firebird coming on down and actually might take out this base of cats. Well, by golly, he is. Not that Cat's doing anything with it, and he's all oh, really worried about the Hydra push at his front door. Oh, Cat. No, no, no. The Mass Marine play almost worked out. You can't lose these medevacs. You need them to live. Oh, no. The, no this time they're not running, and that's the surrender. Cat's out. He couldn't handle it. All the flaming wreckage falling down. I love that. I love that so much. All right. It is time. Firebird. I mean, it's a 187 army for Stalin versus a 100 supply army of yours. Dramatic music cued, says not E.G. Idra from the observer's chair. Observers flying around from Stalin trying to see are there any bases they need to worry about for Firebird besides this one in the bottom right-hand corner. And the answer is kind of. There is an expansion here. We'll see if it's get scouted or not. Can we see this? Let's see. What number is the guy? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, he thinks there's still a hatchery there as far as he knows, but Observer's going to figure this out very, very quickly, setting up staging for a final assault onto the island of Firebird. Wait, says Firebird, who is left? Well, well, nobody tell him. He does not get that information. You don't get free scouting, dude. You want to know who's left, get out there and scout or scan, I suppose. All right, so he did just barely scout this expansion. You were spared. You don't get any hints, says Falcon Paladin. Not E.G. Idra says, not, not E.G. Idra. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. The Drop Lord. The Drop Lord Apocalypse is coming. 27 minutes in. The Drop Lord Apocalypse going to try to come on down and do what is left. Do away with what is left of the Firebird army. Just going to drop right on top of them. There's tanks here. There's Marines and Marauders, the plus one, plus one. Maybe not be enough, though. Lurkers, Hydras, the tanks are sieged up. Are they going to do enough damage to make this thing happen? Oh, there's still stuff in the Overlords, though. They're still going to drop right on top of these tanks. Take them out of the action instantly with those full upgrades. We've got contamination going on on this Orbital Command. Small group of Marines and tanks actually taking it to one of Stalin's bases here. But he's going to lose all of his things. He's going to lose all of his things. Left a few lurkers behind it. Stalin to murder what's left of his final base. And it's a foregone conclusion here. Firebird has his small army. He might take down this hatchery, which is a major victory for him, considering he was down to N orbital command in this game. And managed to come back to this level. But, oh, the drops. The drops. Moment of silence for Firebird, and that's it. Your winner is Stalin X. Stalin X, your winner today, making it happen with the drops, winning battles. Really lucky, really lucky that Cat took out that Broodlord army because I don't think he had an answer for it at any point throughout that game. But that's, again, luck. Really comes down to luck more often than not. So, fun times. Fun times had by all. I hope you enjoyed this cast because this has been Falcon Paladin, and that's going to be it from me. So, Thank you so much for watching. You can catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like what you saw and what you heard today. Subscribe is also appreciated. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.